Hello students, welcome to your Pedia Global. I am Jitendra Tyagi, your mentor for quantitative aptitude section for GRE exam. So all of you know that uh, we have started this series. Uh, its name is GRE 5 Quant series. Okay, so in this uh, we conduct different lectures and uh, in each lecture we take 5 questions, 5 different questions. Okay, so, and we are planning to cover the entire GRE syllabus through these 5 questions. Okay. So, this is my lecture number 6. If you want to prepare for GRE exam, uh, you can join dedicated uh, batches for this GRE module and there you can find the live classes also, okay, detailed live classes uh, of verbal as well as aptitude section, okay. So, now uh, in this lecture, we are discussing 5 important questions, right. Those who are first time watching this lecture, they must watch uh, the previously available lectures also, uh, 5 lectures already available. So, uh, different questions you will get there and you will get the idea about type of different type of questions in aptitude section, how the questions are in uh, GRE exam. Okay. So, let us start uh, with our questions. This is our first question you can see and the topic name uh, is sequences. Okay. This is from sequences topic. So, a recursion relation is given s n equal to s n minus 1 plus 2 s n minus 2 minus 3. Then what is s 4 where s naught is given s 0 is minus 6 s 2 is 1. You have to compute s 4. So, this is problem of sequences and such question uh, we get in GRA exam from this topic sequences. So, you can try to solve this problem yourself. Just try it and then watch my solution. Okay, so what we do? We successfully move forward, right? We have to evaluate S4. We can see that S0 is given, S2 is given, but S1 is missing here, okay? So, suppose we take n equal to 2, n equal to 2. So, we get a relation that is S2 equal to S1 plus 2 S0 or minus 3, okay? Now, let us put all the values. So, S2 is 1 equal to S1 is unknown plus 2 S0. So, plus 2 into S0 is minus 6 or minus 3. Okay. So, this is 1 equal to S1 or minus 12 or minus 3. So, minus 15. So, it give us S1 equal to 16. Okay. We get S1 equal to 16. Now, if we put n equal to 3, so we have to find S3 then, okay, S3. So, S3 equal to S2 plus 2 S1 or minus 3. Now, let us put all the values, okay. So, equal to S2 is already given as 1. Now, S1 is 16. So, plus 2 into 16. So, plus 32 or minus 3. So, this is 1 plus 30 to 33 minus 3, so 30. So, we are getting S3 as 30. Now, we can put n equal to 4, okay, successively we will move forward. So, putting n equal to 4 here, we get S4 equal to, this is S3 plus 2S2 or minus 3, okay, equal to S3 is 30 plus 2S2. So, S2 is 1. So, plus 2 into 1, 2 or minus 3. So, equal to 32 minus 3. So, 29. So, this C option is the correct answer. Okay. You can see this C as the right answer. So, such type of question we get in GRA exam, you have to prepare. All of you can solve such questions easily. Successively, you have to move. Okay. Now, let us see our next question number 2. What different question we have taken? I hope all of you can solve this now. Okay. So, this is from uh, fractions and decimal, fraction topic. We have 
uh, fraction in the syllabus of GRE, we have decimals, okay, many things. So, let us simplify this problem and compare the two quantities, okay. So, earlier also I have told you, we have two quantities, we have to compare their values, right. And then we have to make a decision whether A is greater than B or A is less than B or both are equal or no relationship between A and B is available, right. So, just try to compute the answer, then I will explain you the final answer. Okay, so now let us simplify this. So, we have seen that this is the numerator. Okay, what is the numerator? It is 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4 or plus 1 upon 2. This is the numerator. So, what is the LCM of these 3, 4, 2? LCM of 3, 4, 2 is 12. Okay, so we will write LCM 12. Now, 3, 4 is 12. So, 4 minus uh, 4, 3 is 12. So, 3 into 1, 3 or plus 2, 6 is 12, so 6 or equal to as 4 plus 6, 10 minus 3, 7 upon 12. This is 7 upon 12, which is the numerator of this fraction. Now, in the denominator, we have 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 3 or minus 1 upon 6. Now, what is the LCM? So, LCM calculation we must know, okay. LCM of 5, 3, 6. We know LCM of 5 and 3 is 15 and 5, 3, 6 is 30, okay. 30 is divisible by all of them, right. So, we will take the denominator 30. Now, 5, 6 is 30 plus 3, 10 is 30 minus 6, 5 is 30. So, equal to uh, 10 plus 16 minus 5, 11 upon 30. This is 11 upon 30, okay. So, this is the numerator and this is the denominator. Now, we have to compute their ratio, okay. So, we have to compute 7 upon 12 divided by 11 upon 30, okay. So, this 30 will be written in the product with 7, okay. So, this is equal to 7 into 30 upon 12 into 11. Now, there is a common factor 6. So, 6, 5 is 30, 6, 2 is 12. So, we have 35 upon 22 right and we can see that 35 and 22 have no common factor okay they don't have any common factor other than one so two numbers having no common factor other than one are said to be co prime okay so 35 and 22 are co prime so we can write directly them equal to a upon b okay equal to a upon b okay so a is 35 b is 22 clearly so what is a minus b 35 minus 22, it is 13. So, this quantity A is coming to be 13, B is coming to be 11. So, obviously, this quantity is greater than this quantity. Okay. So, A is the right answer. A is correct. Option A is correct. Option A means quantity A is greater than quantity B. We can easily compare the two quantities. Now, so you must have a practice of simplifying such fractions, okay, such questions you may get in GR exam. Now, come to question number 3. Just read the question and try to find out the answer, okay. One option is correct, you have to click that option. Just try to find out the answer 
एंड चेक द बेस्ट आंसर वन ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट ओके सो नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम के इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर बट नॉट ए मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्सटीन राइट सो के इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर सो के इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सम इंटीजर एम ओके एम इज सम इंटीजर नाउ इफ वी डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन रिमेंबर Prime factorization topic is really important for GRE exam. Okay, so you have to prepare that prime factorization. So this is equal to this twenty four is eight into three. So two raised to the power three. That is eight multiplied by three into m. Okay, k is of this form where m is any integer. Now this integer can be factorized as product of powers of different prime numbers. Okay, now if This m contain two. Suppose this m has a factor two. What will happen in that case? That two will be written here with this, so it will become two raised to the power four or more if it has some factor two or its power. Okay, then this will become two raised to the power four or more. In that case, this will become divisible by sixteen. It will become multiple of sixteen. But they are saying that this is not a multiple of sixteen. It means This m does not contain any power of two. Clear? This m does not contain any power of two. All powers of two have been taken here only. Okay? So this is equal to two raised to the power three into into integer integer having not not having not having integer not having factor two. Factor two, okay. So this is k. Now here in all these options, if we see, this is k upon eight. So if we take two raised to the power three into some integer, say m, that was m, okay, upon eight. So two raised to the power three. So both can be cancelled. So this can be an integer, okay. This can be integer. This can be integer. Clear. Now. If we take k, this option k upon nine, right? So we have this two raised to the power three into m upon nine. Nine means three square. So this m may have power of three. It may have power of three. It may have factor three. So if it is having three raised to the power two or three four anything, this will be cancelled. So this will become integer. So this can be made an integer, right? Now if we see option number C. We have k upon thirty-two, so two raised to the power three into m upon two raised to the power five. Now to make this number as an integer, we must have two raised to the power five in the numerator also. But this m is not having any factor two, so this cannot cancel this entire two raised to the power five. So it means always we will have if we cancel out this two raised to the power three. we will have a 4 in the denominator so this cannot be an integer okay so this is the right answer c is the right answer and others you can make you can verify this also 36 is 9 into 4 so we have 2 raised to the power 2 we can cancel this okay we can make it integer this can also be make integer but we cannot make this as integer because this is 32 here clear c is the right answer so such uh, logically logical questions you may find in gre exam if your conceptual clarity is okay then you are able to solve such problems now let us see our next question so in some questions you may write down the answer okay you get the answer that may be an integer or a fraction and you have to type that answer in the box provided to you during the exam okay so tell me this answer
ओके सो नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट प्राइम फैक्टर प्राइम नंबर ऑल ऑफ यू नो वॉट आर प्राइम नंबर सो वी कैन टेक थ्री रेस टू द पावर एटी एट एज कॉमन इफ वी टेक दिस एज कॉमन वी गेट थ्री रेस टू द पावर थ्री और माइनस वन राइट सो दिस इज थ्री रेस टू द पावर एटी एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दिस इज ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओके सो दिस इज थ्री रेस टू द पावर एटी एट इंटू टू रेस टू द पावर वन इंटू थर्टीन टू द पावर वन सो वॉट कैन बी द ग्रेटेस्ट प्राइम फैक्टर ओके सो थ्री इज ए प्राइम नंबर एंड दैट इज ए फैक्टर टू इज ए प्राइम नंबर दैट इज ए फैक्टर थर्टीन इज ए प्राइम नंबर दैट इज ए फैक्टर सो थर्टीन इज ए प्राइम नंबर एंड दैट इज ए फैक्टर ऑफ दिस रिजल्ट एंड और फैक्टर ऑफ दिस क्वांटिटी Now, greater than thirteen, we cannot have any other factor because we don't have any other prime number in the product. Okay, so greater than thirteen, there cannot be any prime factor of this quantity. Okay, so thirteen will be the answer. Twenty-six is not a prime number; that is a composite number, right? If we take any power of three, that will become composite number, right? So thirteen is the right answer. <coughs> Now. come to question number 5 the digit at the units place of this number so unit Digit at the unit place is also important for GRE exam. You may get such question. So now let us uh, check what is the answer. You have to write the answer in the box provided to you. Okay? You may get box to write the answer. Okay. So now let us see. Digit at the unit place of this number is same as digit at the unit place of three to the power nine zero six. Remember, okay. Just read the unit place digit here. Its power, okay. So the digit at the unit place of this will be same as digit at the unit place of this. Now we know that if we have a number say a to the power four m plus one, okay. So this is of the form four m plus one. in that case the digit at the unit place of this number is same as the digit at the unit place of a remember okay a ke unit place pe jo digit hogi wahi pure number ke unit place pe digit hoti hai if we have 4m plus 1 uh, in the power exponent right now this is 906 so 06 so if we divide it by 4 we get remainder 2 okay so we can write it as 3 to the power 905 plus 1 So equal to three raised to the power nine zero five, or into three to the power one. Now this is of the form nine zero four plus one, or into three to the power one. So this number is of the form four m plus one. Okay, we this is divisible by four, right? So this is of the form four m plus one, right? So the digit at the unit place of this entire number will be same as the digit of the unit place of this. That is three. So unit place digit will be three or into three. So three into three what? Nine. So answer will be nine. Okay. Answer is nine. So these are today's class five important questions for your GRE exam. And please watch all the previously conducted classes also. And all these uh, PDF for files of these are available on our panel. You can check there and you can solve all these questions. right so in the next lecture also you will get five different questions and uh, a lot of different questions you are going to get if you regularly watch these lectures definitely you are going to get benefit for your exam okay all the best